got a comment to my last video about starting a change in life that it depends on how much free will a person has and the sense of being able to control their own lives. So this is a big topic, the idea of having will, having will to change our lives, our, our world, our existence, our surroundings, ourselves, and the ability to make changes, the ability to feel like you can make a change. And this is not an automatic thing, of course. And I think it's important to separate two parts of the equation because it's difficult to know how to change. But it's a separate matter to know that it is possible to change. So when I realized that my life was not in the position I wanted it to be, I did not have a roadmap, a plan on how to improve it. I just had a sense that I was not living life the way I could and should in order to get the most out of life. I was not using my chance to be alive to the fullest that I could. And as I saw time passing by, I realized I could not simply wait until some undetermined future point when I can just start living my life right later. I had to do it soon before too much extra time had passed. So I had to, I, so I decided that my life, my life could be improved, that it, I could be doing something better. I could be in a better place. Not only in this abstract, hypothetical way that, oh, I can imagine living a better life, but actually that I can see that there is room for me to make changes so that I can live a better life. And I didn't know what to do. I, I didn't know how, but I believe that it all starts with believing that it is possible. Simply believing that I could be living life differently. I could be living life better than I am now. And any of the reasons that might say that it's not possible are not in fact valid. Uh, if I say, you know, I'm too old to make changes in my life, no, that's not valid at any age. Um, I'm not able to change myself. I could say I have no ability to change myself. I have no control over myself. And yet, we do change over time. People will change over time, no matter what. And so I know it is possible for me to change, even if I don't know it's possible for me to precisely control how I'm going to change. I know that it, I will change. And so perhaps even if I have almost no self-control at all, I might be able to slightly adjust the way that I'm changing. So it only takes a little bit. I mean, you can run down the other list of reasons why it's not possible. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm no good. I don't have the ability to live better. Uh, I'm not worth the trouble. Uh, or whatever, whatever the list. I, I'd be curious to collect even more of a list of these kind of what I might call excuses, reasons for, reasons that hold us back from being able to make change and to be able to do what we want. 
the feeling that it's just not possible, not worth it, and just forget about it. But when I was in a darker state of mind and a less healthy state of mind, I would get these occasional hints. It was almost like light shining through a window where I would just get this hint of, oh, that's how some other people are living their lives and that's how I could imagine my life could be more in that direction. And it just gave me that slight hint of, oh, I can see where there's a possible change to be made, that I could be different. How to actually make my life that way? There, I had nothing, because I could say, well, you know, I'm too old, I, I can't start again and do things right, so there's no way I can ever match somebody else's position that they're in. I can't have another life, I have to live with my life. Uh, I don't know what I can do. But the idea that I'm thinking about today is just that I don't really need to know exactly how to change my life. That's not the first thing that I need. I need to believe that it is possible. Just simply that it's possible for my life to change and to become closer to what I want. That this is possible. Once I believe that, I am already making the first step. Step into this possibility that, okay, I am going to make some changes. I don't know exactly what yet, but I know it's possible to change and improve. And then as time moves on from then, I started to notice different little things that I could do. And as I continued studying and practicing just little things here and there, very slowly, up and down, forwards and backwards, but finding little things that I could start to do to start bending the direction of my life, even in a very small way. And the whole idea of willpower is a whole other topic, but by applying a very slight change, we already bend the course of our life. So even the smallest changes will start to add up over time. And these little changes don't have to be all planned ahead as one big program of change. We don't have to have an end goal clearly in sight. It's simply our lives are these one little decision after another, one little action after another. And if we carry on 99% the same and just make little adjustments here and there where we can to step what we believe in that moment to be a little bit closer to a slightly better position. Even in this cloud of not knowing the full picture, not knowing where we want to end up, not knowing how to get there, but just this feeling that this one little action saying, not doing this and doing this, choosing this and not that, in that one little moment, the one little thing, that it is bending towards a direction that will probably be good. This is, I, I believe this is the beginning of making good change, and that's what happened with me. Every little good thing we do compounds and builds up. Every little bad thing we do compounds and builds up. And when we look at the whole pile of it, the whole mountain, it, can, it does seem impossible to move. But by simply making a little shift in what we do, we can already get to tomorrow in a slightly improved position. So before you even think about how and consider steps of how you can change your life, 
start by asking yourself, do you believe that it's possible? Is it possible to live a life that is closer to what you really want? Despite all the limitations of, yes, you have the life as it is now, you have the age you're at now, you have all the conditions that you're in, all these limitations, you can't have this perfect dream ideal life, as, possibly as you imagine it. But is it possible to make your life slightly closer to something that you believe is a good life? And I, I would bet that there's no, there's no way to answer no to that question. And if there is a no, I, I'd be curious to know how that can be a no. So I believe that it's in all of our power to believe that this is possible. And once we start with that belief, then the little steps and the little movements can begin to start moving in that direction.